Ooh, seven days mini croissant. Eh, pour le français, how you say eh, eh, croissant? <laughs> it's like the only <laughs> word you know in French. <laughs> eh, 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 croissant. Eh, I'm speaking French, dude. Eh, eh, eh. That's eh, Italian. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to another dope on dope. Actually, this is 10 strange things that Tanner found on Amazon. Ah. That was Tanner. That was not a fart. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys know whether these items are dope or no. Tanner does not have any say in the matter, no matter how much he tells you. First item, Nostalgia CBM8 Chocolate Candy Bar Maker. Oh, candy bar maker or poop maker? <laughs> Let's be real, this makes logs. So it looks like from this, you goop up your candy, melt in other words, technical term. Yes. <laughs> then you pour it in to the slots and you let it harden and let you add a little pizzazz to it. And then you consume vehemently. Do you like chocolate? Love chocolate. Do you like Cho you already answered. Do, I like <laughs> Do you love chocolate? <laughs> Let's watch this video. Oh! Chocolate candy bar factory. I got dark chocolate, I got milk chocolate, they got white chocolate for the communists out there. Set the heated base. Oh, that's how you uh, freeze the chocolate, or so to speak, you cool it down so it hardens. All right, well, I'm not gonna show you this whole thing because I'm gonna do it for you. Add to cart. Chocolate Candy Bar Factory makes eight bars and nuggets at a time. <laughs> and nuggets? Dude, yes! <laughs> I've always wanted to make a nugget. Your boy loves the Choco Nugs. So it makes eight bars and nuggets. Two nuggets to a bar. Wait, really? Is that the math? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, wait, this, oh, it's already open. <laughs> the heck, Tanner? Or did you already make some for me? Um, I've already made some for you. Awesome. Ew, almonds. I guess communists have to eat. So should we do it? Should we make some chocolate, guys? Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's been gooped up. All right, let's make some. Okay. okay, I didn't skimp out on the chocolate here. I got us some melted Ghirardelli chocolate. My wife does not like Ghirardelli. Really? Have you met her, Amanda? <laughs> My, your wife? <laughs> nope, never. She says that it's Chocolate for peasants. Really? The word for doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> she Can you imagine, her... dude? It is chocolate for <laughs> peasants. Please bring me the golden crusted jewels. <laughs> All right, Tanner, you decorate yours and I'll decorate mine. I'm gonna just do a pinch of the sparkles. <clears throat> that's good, that's good. Okay, so now. Perfect. Now we wait. Wow. Whoa. That was almost like no time had passed at all. Yeah, what a great product. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so like inauthentic if we had these prepped beforehand? I would literally distrust them forever. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, There's so much chocolate. <laughs> a chocolate bar? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. You just straight jumped on that. No, this one's good. That's actually good. Sprinkles definitely don't work. But that product did, so I rate it a dope. Power toothpaste, caffeinated energy toothpaste. Oh my word, you'll feel it in 10 seconds? Get an immediate boost upon waking up. Oh my gosh, what is all this? I like how they're pointing to like specific spots of this toothpaste bottle. Over here, <laughs> and this area right here can be used any time of the day. This area right here beats plaque. This area right here saves you money on the daily. Hundreds of dollars of saving in a single tube. Oh my gosh, how much caffeine is in this? Wait, one of it fights weather. Blasts away the morning fog in minutes? <laughs> what? Uh, let's uh, add to subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's right. The toothpaste contains caffeine. Get a rush while you brush. Not a bad slogan. We're gonna go for 15 seconds and we're gonna see if we feel it after 15 seconds, okay? <laughs> you got your cup right there, right? Yeah, well we also have spit cups too. If you don't Why want can't this be a spit cup? You wanna spit back in the water? You don't wanna rinse with it? Oh yeah, you right. Have you ever brushed your teeth before? <laughs> Not frequently. <laughs> I don't do it often. I don't do it often, yeah, but when neither. I do, it's with caffeine toothpaste. Yeah, baby. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go, go. Okay, I'm in. Oh, oh. <laughs> you just spat all over yourself. <laughs> There's no way. All right, so the first thing I noticed is you have horrible brushing technique. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Guys, back me up in the comments. He's going back and forth. You trying to remove your gums, bro? Circular motion. I don't notice anything. It didn't taste horrible. The aftertaste isn't good. Oh, it's bad. Brushing your teeth with it was normal. Seemed like normal toothpaste, but the aftertaste, I can taste the caffeine. Mm -hmm. That's not the feeling you want when you're brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth to have a good feeling in your mouth. You know, to be like, oh, this feels clean. Not to be like, 
my mouth is so energetic. But I don't think I've, I really feel like I'm getting that much energy from it. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you feel, Tanner? I, I feel really good. Uh, yeah, it's feeling good. I feel slower than you would. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Just drink eight ounces of water. It'll have the same effect in the morning. I just drink right when I get up, drink eight ounces of water, and I'm like, <laughs> Mamacita. Vertigo V4 Pro. Pogo. Stick. <laughs> it was like on a round of rhyming and then it just like fell apart at Boom. the end there. How would you have finished that? Vertigo V4 Pro. Pogo. Sticko. <laughs> Pogo stick, bro. With the Mobo Pro. You got Mobo Pro? I got a Mobo Pro. I got a Mobo Pro, bro, but I also got a V2 Forgo. Pogo, vertigo, stick. Pogo. A lot of you guys may remember this. This is like an intense pogo stick. Look at this guy, dude. I looked it up on this video right here. Vertigo B4 Pro Pogo Stick. $439? 250,000 likes, we buy that. We see how high we can go. So 250,000 likes, I said. 8.3 million views later, 430,000 likes later, you guys smashed that like button. And now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. The V4 Vertigo Pogo Sticko. So 10% more air. Uh, the most advanced pogo stick ever created. That's a bold claim. Very bold claim. Let's watch this video. Oh, he just did a flip! What the? <laughs> Can you imagine just like a pogo squad? Oh my gosh, it's the pogo squad! Watch out! It's just like this band of like criminals that like hop into a store and rob it and then hop out. Where did he go? I, he just must have pogoed away! <laughs> that looks so cool and so uncool at the same time. They're like, check this out, ladies. Boing. <laughs> Jumping out of your DMs like. <laughs> and to Carte! Now, while we're getting that all prepped, let's move on to the next product. Toy Smith Gorilla Grabber. Novelty. Oh, it's a Gorilla Grabber. Yeah, I grab gorillas with that. Give it a squeeze to grasp and grab. Prank your friends and make them laugh. By doing what? Yeah, what am I pranking? Grabbing them, squeezing them, grasping them? Taking their bananas from them? <laughs> <laughs> this is upsetting. It's just... So many good reviews, but it's still so upsetting. I gotta see this review. Nice toy. Would grow up again. No, I'm just kidding. It didn't say that. <laughs> Add to cart. Oh my word. This feels like actual skin. Yo, I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> good thing I don't have to touch that part. That's what you grope with. Let's just see real quick. What's this about? Hey, what are you doing down there? Nothing. Oh, stop it. Who no. are you? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it's the groping gorilla. <laughs> hey, get lost, groping gorilla. <laughs> Can you even grab anything with that? Oh, no. No, I'm actually really having, oh no, here we go. It honestly no. feels like, like someone is just touching my ears. That one just feels, uh-huh. Oh, no, no, It's no. not me, it's the groping gorilla. Look, you can't even tell that it's me. Mr. Gorilla, <laughs> not again. <laughs> not at work, Mr. Gorilla. <laughs> I meant to go to your knee, but I'm like watching the screen and I'm like, that's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I was like, this is getting weird. Haven't man. you ever been tickled in the knee by a groping gorilla? You've got Harvey Weinstein over here with the <laughs> Let's see what people around the office think of this. Hey guys, what is, what is this? <laughs> Can't figure out what we want to destroy. Mom? <laughs> dude, your mom's as hairy? <laughs> I didn't say he did, dude. You said she was hairy, though. <laughs> That's how you deter a Matthias. Palmcat detective science educational fingerprint verification analysis set for the times when you need to find the drug users. Oh, uh, you blow away the powder and the, it leaves the residue on the fingerprint oil and then you can figure out the fingerprint because you can put it onto a piece of tape. I'm actually curious about that. Let's see if it actually works. Add to cart. Do you know seeking and analyzing the fingerprint is the most familiar job in, wait, what? Seeking and analyzing, dude, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, yeah. <laughs> Do you know? 
<laughs> Do you know, seeking and analyzing the fingerprint is the most familiar job for forensics. When people touch the object, there will be some grease or dried sweat on the fingertip. In the same way, when the palm or toe touches the object, there will be some sort of identifiable mark left. Toe? What kind of burglar toe? uses their toe? <laughs> oh, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trick them all and steal everything with my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the trick to like all these museum heists. Don't use your hands, use your toes. Walk on your hands. Switch it all up and people will think that it was just the groping gorilla going around, dude. <laughs> like what else can grab with its toes? Oh my goodness gracious. NCIS high five. <laughs> <laughs> You have to wear the goggles to do this. Yeah, you don't want fingerprint sweat on you. Oh, what the heck? How did they get me? How did they uncover the truth? Okay, I'm gonna go out and say it. With those goggles on, you look like the world's worst superhero. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I think you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do this. Cake it on there, yeah. Yeah, and then you're supposed to just... That looks cleaner. Dude, you gotta put on your name tag. You can't be working like this without your name tag on. Here. Oh, yes, you're right. Or like right there or something. There you go. I swear, I have to get to a point where I haven't touched the tape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even with you. Oh this my is God. way more difficult than it looks. Put this in the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I successfully garnered a fingerprint. Dude, this is supposed to be for kids, bro? I give up! Yo, you made it, nice. <laughs> Did I? Look at it. Oh, nice. It's just chilling right there. It's chilling right near the stormtrooper. I'm gonna ask you guys, pull right there. Do you think this is dope or nope? Could you do this better than Dad Thias? All right, Tanner, this is it. This is it? Vertigo Mobile Pro. That's not right. Oh, dude, this is a joke, dude. In my real life, though, after buying this, the heck am I gonna do with this thing? <laughs> I mean like all the other like segways and like hoverboards and things like that I still can use those and like, you know, go around the office and you know mess with people But this is like dog just give it to Luna dude. She can be a kangaroo I'm a little bit concerned. Does this like shoot out or something? How does this work? Is this the instructions? Yeah, it inflate your stick and set the seal inflate your stick. That's what she said <laughs> Now that we set this puppy up stay tuned because Tanner and I are going to take turns actually testing this out and it's good. First defense, nasal screens, multi-size. What is a nasal screen? Like Latex-free hypoallergenic non-visible helps alleviate respiratory suffering by comfortably filtering inhaled air and removing airborne germs, allergens, and non or noxious particles. Smelly particles, i.e. That's dope. As you guys know, I have a very, very powerful sense of smell. If you go and watch Human Fall Flat right there on GG, Tanner farted. <laughs> <laughs> and it smelled so bad. Proof that I could smell what no one else could. And you're like, there's no way you could smell that. But it like happened to be like the one GG video where I was like, wait, who farted? <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. Like, you can't fool this nose. Sure, you you think it's fly. just big for show? <laughs> Let's add to cart. Wow, and filter your life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That is a big promise. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, reduces secondhand wrong. smoke, reduces pet associated allergens, reduces disease causing pathogens. So you won't die because of the diseases. Yep, the plague. Goodness. Is it in here? Oh, they are in here. Wait, what? How does this work? Whoa, these are creepy. You literally seal your nostril with the sticker. <laughs> Dude. You oh my seal God. your nostril with the sticker. This is not real. It's very kind of a complex process. You look like you have a booger. Yes, 100%. Airflow is still getting through, but I don't know if I've sealed every entry point. I got this one too. All I'm right. getting the hang of it. I just got to pinch around every edge here. Yeah, I can breathe through it. It's difficult. Quick, let's go downstairs and see if we can smell that popcorn. I'm getting a faint. Can you smell popcorn pretty well right now? Yeah, I can smell popcorn. I can definitely smell popcorn too. It's helping though. Oh wow, that's, po that, whew, that's potent. <laughs> a lot of other scents in there too. Okay, let me take these off now. You see these things? Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice boogers, dude. Ah. Oh wow, that's really sealed. Oh my gosh. Dude, I can smell ah. the butter. It does do something. It does help, but the amount that it may hurt your image or your pride reverses everything that it helps. Mm. So I would recommend tough it out, smell the smell. I get your pain. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, seven days mini croissant. Eh, parlez le français, how you say a eh, croissant? <laughs> it's like the only word you know in French. Eh, eh, eh croissant. Eh, I'm speaking French, dude. Eh, 
Hey, That's hey, Italian. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So Seven Days. If you're not familiar with this particular brand, Amanda loves Seven Days croissants. Absolutely love them. Now they're not in the U.S. They were like, "Hey, would you uh, mind if we sent you a box of them?" And I was like, "Yeah, whatever, dude." You're trying to play it cool, like I don't want food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't have to click Add to Cart. Oh, by the way, did I say that now they're coming to the U.S.? Well, well guess what? That's what they told me too. They're like. We're actually starting to sell these in the U.S. now. Oh. And I was like, oh man, it's gonna be stoked. Hit me with that box. Okay. Look at this, dude. Oh, what? Not, not that. I don't want you to look at oh, that. Okay. Oh, filled with goodies. Boom, boom, boom. So here's what they got. Peanut butter cream filled croissants. Another box full of croissants. Vanilla filling, chocolate filling, uh, strawberry and vanilla and peanut butter and jelly. Oh, also they sent us these things. A pizzetti. Mm, spaghetti? Spaghetti? <laughs> so look at this. You remember we tried bagel chips, right? Yeah. These look like they're bagel chips with real cheese inside them. With real, nah, dude. You think real I'm, cheese? You think I'm lying to you? How's that even possible? I don't know, dude. Science. <laughs> look at that. Let's take a bite. There's like little bits of cheese in it. Look at this. I want to give you, a, I want to give you an up close shot of the perfection that is this. Beautiful, delectable treat. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Now how you say, tasty? <laughs> tasty. <laughs> oh yeah, it does taste a little bit like pizza. Mm -hmm. I feel like with my uh, forensic degree here, I might be able to detect what's in this. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of love, a little bit of pizzazz. That's good stuff, dude. Okay. So now we got these flavors. I think I'm gonna try strawberry cream. I think I'm gonna try vanilla. Mm, vanilla. Vanilla. All right. One of those white chocolate kind of dudes. You're right, I can't do vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Nice break. Nice break, good clean break. All right, let's try this one. <laughs> All right, I'm not as good as you, okay? We get it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Not this exact flavor, but I've had these in the past. This one is very good. Mm, look at that. You got that cream, you got that strawberry. Is that jelly? Yeah. Jelly? I can't it's do jelly. it. Jelly? Yeah, you do it well. So guys, if you're interested, check these out. Uh, Nick's product, knock knock, WTF nifty notes. <laughs> it's like, what is it, WTF or knock knock? Knock knock's the brand, but it was like they like shifted gears halfway through, like knock knock, who's WTF. there? <laughs> WTF, why are you knocking on my door? <laughs> so this note is a really great way to be able to communicate with someone that you might not normally be able to communicate with. Here at Hi-Fi Studios, we got a lot of people. The thing I've learned about people is that they, it's, it's very difficult for them to communicate to other people. We're all the same species. Why is it so difficult? We're all just people living inside a bubble trying to live out a dream. I feel inspired. So this may alleviate some of those issues because you could say who it's from to who you want to talk about and then it goes WTF and then you fill out the rest. We're gonna do the WTF one and we're gonna walk around the office and give some of these people these citations. Okay. All right, now give this video a like if you want to see us try all of these other ones on the crew and give them all these, there's endless amounts, I love it. But for right now, we're gonna do the WTF at the cart. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're gonna each pick a target. I am going to pick Paul. Typical. And this one is from Matthias. So I'm gonna say, WTF was in that drink last night. <laughs> Source of bewilderness. What happened after I had that drink? Question mark. And then, can you help me out here and call the cops? <laughs> FML. I'm gonna hand this one to Paul. You. I'm gonna go for Shannon. Let's right. do Shannon. She's the least suspecting. Yeah, she's gonna be like, what are you doing here? No. WTF. Oh, is wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> you're just kind of right now desperate. You're gonna ask for Shannon's help because you're so desperate. Like, why don't I have a girlfriend yet? You know? <laughs> this is getting too real now. <laughs> why don't I have real love? <laughs> And then, you know, in parentheses, no GF. So can you help me out here and uh, save me? Save <laughs> this is too perfect. This is don't, definitely an OMG. Definitely no. You need some help immediately. So let's go hand these out and see what the responses that we get. Paul, WTF, and read the rest. What happened after I had that drink? Can you help me out here and <laughs> call the cops? You don't know what happened? No. After I had that drink? Do you know what was in the drink? No. Dude, I thought you had my back. <laughs> Dude, Paul is not a good wingman. All right, All right. let's meet my fate. <laughs> wait, 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 before I... <laughs> what do you think she's gonna say? Knowing Shannon, she's gonna be too nice, you know? She's like, oh, you just, ha you just ha don't, you haven't been trying. I'm too immature. We'll get that. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. How's it going? Good. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm getting a little like. Just a, don't yeah. pretend I'm not here. Shannon from Tanner. What's wrong with me? Why don't I have real love? No girlfriend. Yeah, that's like parentheses. <laughs> that's what he means by or I what, mean. What? By real what do you love. mean? I, I mean by real love, not him. He was just <laughs> on the side, you know. Can you help me here and save me? Okay. So what are my problems? Are you putting yourself out there enough? Maybe that's what it is. I told you! I literally <laughs> told you that's what she said! Matt, what are my problems? Why do you think? Uh... So jokey. <laughs> so jokey! <laughs> Alright, well thank you very much. You can keep that. I was that. a huge help. I know, I tried. Kickerland Nightlight Pizza. That's like a bad knockoff of Kirkland, which is a Costco brand. Oh my gosh, it is! <laughs> Kirkland is already a knockoff product. So what if you had a knockoff of a knockoff? Have you had the Kirkland pizza? No, I have. I like the Kickerland pizza. Kicks me in the mouth, it's so bad. But this isn't pizza, this is a nightlight. Let's add to cart. Pizza nightlight. Whoa, you ripped that package <laughs> opening no problem, I'm impressed. When you've been opening products for as long as I have, you just look at the product and it undresses itself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so here's the thing, it's straight up just a simple nightlight. Not much to do about it, but one thing, I rate this six out of 10. Why? It's just a normal nightlight. Because of missed opportunities. No pizza. No pizza <laughs> you smell. You were there with this? No pizza smell, right? Oh, There's geez. even some things that you can heat up that give off a scent. Like this bulb heats up, it would give off a pizza scent. So yeah, six out of 10 would not Ooh. smell again. Cannot smell again. <laughs> Cannot smell again. Roller coaster challenge, logic, and building game. Wow, that's kind of cool. So this is for like all of you Imagineers in training. If you want to like build roller coasters, solve puzzles, 40 coaster constructing challenges. So it, it gives you a prompt and it was like, can you do it? And if you could do it, you win. So is this just like Hot Wheels for uh, mm. the new youth? No, no, dude, Hot Wheels, I'm sorry. This looks cool, but Hot Wheels, is cooler. Yeah, I used to always do Hot Wheels, you know? I'd like do them all over my room and then my mom would walk in and she'd be like, what is this mess? And they're like, mom, watch out! And like goes off a jump, hits her in the head and I'm like, mom! <laughs> Did you see that sick vert that I just got? All right, add the cart. All right, 40 easy to super hard challenges. More than 100,000 unique building possibilities. That's- I'm that's, not buying that. Yeah, that's the, the issue with that is that like you can build the entire roller coaster and then just like move one piece to the left and that, that's one possibility. You move it to the right, that's the second possibility. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though you have, like that's technically how they're getting this calculation, which they're not wrong, but it's still, Slightly misleading. It just gives your brain like this this idea of like oh so much oh. <laughs> You know <laughs> this right here is the roller coaster challenges So you open this up boom easy then you have medium then you have hard and then you have super hard You start at one then you go to two and then you go to three and basically if you're able to do that using this like particular piece mm -hmm. Then you win and if you don't know how to do that there is the solution. Let's build the coaster, see how it works. All right, look at this. It is not small by any means. It's pretty big, actually. That's what she said. So you're able to like go in and around and stuff like that. Um, I even think I saw like that there's loops in there. So you actually be able to have your dude like do a little loop and oh. stuff like that. Here's what's cool. See this little piece right here? This is actually the coaster. It, it actually functions just by like a rolling ball and it'll like roll down. <gasps> We won the challenge! Oh. We won the challenge! One more time from this angle. That's cool. Clean as a whistle. I mean, personally, I still prefer Hot Wheels. So that's pretty cool. I say, dope! Here we go, Tanner. What are my odds of dying? Your odds of dying? Uh, realistic odds of dying, maybe 10%. That's a lot. 10% is still a lot. When I was a kid, I used to pogo till I could no go. <laughs> <laughs> I did 3,000 jumps before landing once. It wasn't in a pogo stick this intense, but. 3,000? 3,000. No way you've done 3,000 jumps before Relax, landing. Relax, you're screaming into the mic right now, dude. Hey, I love you. I'm gonna try and not hit my head on it. Yeah, good luck with that. Whoa, oh, it was way more like. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. Did you break that Bunsen burner of a butt no, right dude, there? dude, I did a, like a really soft landing, actually. <laughs> like, actually soft. So the thing about this is that there's a lot of give. So I can't like, this is dangerous. Dude. Really? Oh, oh. Like, why? Because there's so much downwards momentum, mm -hmm. you have to actually propel yourself really, really high in the air to actually move to counteract your next move. So it's like. Oh. 
I like the way it whistles at you. Oh jeez. I think it needs more air. In my honest opinion, I would need more more air in this. Dude, this is a workout too. A normal pogo stick is not this intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's it for me, dude. <laughs> Don't die on me. All right, I won't. And if I do, this is my saying into the camera that I have chosen and selected to do this. <laughs> Mom. I love you. <laughs> you look tiny next to that thing. I do? Oh my gosh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> this is way different than a regular pogo stick. Hold on. Oh, that <laughs> Just is wild. Immediately bails, dude. dude. Let's try the double jump. Dude, this is pretty cool though. There you go. Oh, dude, I, you go down so fast, like it literally compresses to, like directly in the ground. I feel the impact of the ground. <laughs> Almost hit me in my nose. I <laughs> <laughs> After trying this, I think with some minor adjustments, you can actually get really, really good at this thing. However, this is not a device for the faint of heart. If you're a thrill seeker, if you do extreme sports, this is your thing. And that, for that reason, I'm gonna say tasteful. But if you're just like, looks fun to pogo, don't get this one, dude. <laughs> Way too intense, you know what I mean? It's like the difference between like a go-kart and like a dune buggy. Dune buggies are serious machines that can kill you. This is the same thing. <laughs> Which is, you know, I'm, I'm sure the brand is digging this review. <laughs> Intense, relax. I give it a dope. Right there is a playlist full of Amazon videos just like this, just as funny. So if you enjoyed this video, check out all of those sweet videos right there and consider watching them. And this right here is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy based on videos that you've already watched on this channel. Hey, that's cool, isn't it? That right there is a subscribe button if you're new here. Click it and we'll see you next time. High five.